Good morning. We want to thank each of you for joining the New Hope Baptist Church Children's Ministry Worship Experience. We pray something will be said or done to inspire your child this week. Hey there, what's new? I was just on my way to, oh, oh! Oh look, a present. I wonder what's inside. Let's see. It's a... Nothing. There's nothing inside. That's weird. Wait, there's a card. It says, Please fill this box to overflowing. Fill the box to overflowing? I mean, what do I have to put in this box? This reminds me of something the Apostle Paul said in the Bible. He said that we should give generously. Generous means giving extra when we don't have to. Generous means going the extra mile. It's like if the line was here and you go here. Paul said that God loves it when we give generously. So maybe that's what this box is for but I'm still not sure what I have to give. Maybe I could fill this box with some toys someone else might enjoy playing with. Oh, and here's an idea. What if I fill it with some acts of service? You know, like helping a neighbor clean up their garden or carrying groceries for my mom. I could also fill it with time playing with my little brother or visiting a friend who was sick. Wow, I guess I do have more to give than I realized. When we give to God and others, God promises to make our gifts go further than we could possibly imagine. God uses our gifts to point others to Jesus and to teach them about God's special love. Even though it might be scary to be generous, we can trust God to use our gifts to change the world. Do you want to practice being generous today with me? I can help my family today more than I normally would and use extra manners and kindness with my friends. Let's be generous together. Okay, are you ready to help me fill this box? Let's do it. We can trust God with our gifts. Hello friends and welcome back. Last week we learned about treasures on earth and treasures in heaven. God cares about the things that are forever, not things that can break or get lost. And we care about the things that God cares about. Let's start off with our first activity. This one is called Escape from Treasure Island. And this will be with our friends Novia, Alina, and Zariah. Each person, as they will start with our treasure map, they will all be given a little, similar to like Monopoly, a little thing, and they go around. Whoever gets to the X first is our winner. Let's watch them play the game. Okay, this game is called Treasure Island. And everybody will start right here, and you're going to try to go right here. I'm going to give you a dice. I'm going to give you a dice. And when you get through, you use this one. Which color you want to be? You're going to be red. What color you? Black. Black. And you're going to be yellow. Okay, roll the dice. And whatever number or dots that roll, that's the number you uh, do. You, you start on, okay? And you, you if it's four, you go to four. If it's six, you go to six. Roll your dice. And let it fall down.
three. One, two, three. Okay, she just made one more. Okay, come on. Let's see. Can you do it? Come on. Come on. Five. She made it. Two, three, four. Okay. Okay, class. She's our winner. Wave your hand up. Wave your hand up. So, yay. There go our winner. Yes. Okay. Now, you landed on a treasure. So, which treasure do you think you want? Uh, this one? Oh, you got the shiny treasure. Yay! And guess what this one is? The rusty treasures. <laughs> All right. So what that is, hey, oh no. Now, I need you to remind me about your treasures. The shiny treasures is, if we trust God with our gifts, you can put them all back in there. We can get that kind of treasure. But if we uh, put our treasures in earth, that's the kind of treasure we get. Thank you. Very good. Elena is our winner. Yes. Oh, who found the treasure first? It was her. Look at it. That can remind me that this is what happened when you have your treasures and trust God with them. But if we tr don't trust God and put our treasures on earth, it could get rusty and stolen or broken. Now, we're getting ready for our second activity. This one is called the treasure hunt. There are 30 gold coins that I hid in the room prior to them arriving. Each one must find 10 gold coins. If someone comes up short, we want them to show generosity and share the other coins, that the extra coins that they found. Let's watch them play this game. Okay, our next game is called Treasure Hunt. What's the name of the game? Treasure Hunt. What I'm going to do, see those gold bags? Go ahead and open up your gold bag. Each one of you get a gold bag. Open it up. Open the bag. You, I, I have hidden 30 gold coins in this room. I want you to find 10 coins each. So each one of you should find 10 coins. Listen, if you cannot, if you find more than 10, you can help the other person who hadn't found 10 of them. Okay? Open your bag up so you can hold your bag and find your coins and keep going. Thank you for helping your sister. Just open it up without turning it all the way up. Thank you. Okay, count all your coins. Everybody count your coins and see if you have 10. Count your coins quickly and see if you have 10. Okay, so if you got more than 10, okay, so Novia has seven. So can somebody, very good, Alina. So I got 10. you got 10? Somebody didn't find all their coins, but we want to say thank you to Alina for sharing her coins and being gener generous with her sister, Novia. All right, now it's time for our big idea. Our big idea today is we can trust God with our gifts. Let's go to our friend Zachary and ask him some questions. Hello, Zachary. Hello. Blessings are gifts from whom? Blessings are gifts from God. Blessings are what from God? Blessings are gifts from God. Who can we trust with our gifts? God with all our gifts. That's right, Zachary. This is our big idea for today. We can trust God with all our gifts. Thank you, Zachary. Let's start with our first scripture for today. Our scriptures is coming from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 1 through 15. But due to time, we're going to focus in on some different, uh, some of the scriptures, but not all of them. But I want to give you a little summary of what's going on. In, this, in today's story, Paul is in a place called Macedonia, encouraging a church in an area called Corinth 
to donate some of their treasure to help a church in another place called Jerusalem. The church in Jerusalem needed help, and the church in Macedonia and Corinth promised to help. But it seems like the Corinthians have changed their minds about it. Let's listen to a summary of what Paul wrote to them. In a summary, we'll just sum it up. Dear friends in Corinth, your excitement for Jesus is so catchy. Your friends here in Macedonia are excited too. You both promise to give a gift to your friends in Jerusalem who could really use some help right now. That's why I'm sending some of the Macedonians to visit you and to help you prepare your generous gifts. Please don't feel grumpy about giving. Choose to be happy instead. When you give generously, you're not just helping others, you're showing God your thankfulness. When you give to others, they'll praise God and pray for you, and God will always take care of you. What an amazing gift, God's love. Love, Paul. Now, let's focus in on verses 6 through 9, and it reads, Remember this, who ever sold sparingly will also reap sparingly and whoever sows generously will also reap generously each of you shall give what you have decided in your heart to give not reluctantly or on compulsion compulsion for god loves a cheerful giver and god is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things at all times Having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. As it is written, they have freely scattered their gifts to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever. Hmm, you keep hearing the word generously and generosity. Let's ask our friend Dallin what these words mean. What is generosity? Generosity is when someone gives freely to others with, without regard to price or size. When a person is generous, they give freely to others and don't think about themselves. Examples of generosity are when a church donates masks to the first responders and a person making food for a team before a game and a family giving another family that lost someone some food. The big idea for this week is that we can trust God with our gifts. Now we will have a song about verse six from our friend Joy. Remember me? I'm Joy. I've been reading 2 Corinthians, the ninth chapter and the sixth verse. And it says, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And whoever sows generously will also reap generously. God loves a cheerful giver. So, if you're stingy with your money, maybe your toys, or maybe your food, if you're a stingy person, then life will be stingy with you. I'm going to sing a song about being a cheerful giver. Let me get my voice right. Ah, uh, me, 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 ah, uh, ah. Uh. Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap 
generously. God loves a cheerful giver. God loves a cheerful giver. God loves a cheerful giver. As it is written. Come on, y'all, join in. Whoever sold sparingly will also reap sparingly. And whoever sold generously will also reap generously. God loves the cheerful giver. God loves the cheerful giver. God loves a cheerful giver. As it is written. Now we will go into our next activity. This one is called Treasure Collection. This is an activity that you can also play at home, friends. Each person will have the 10 coins that they got in the earlier activity. They will try to toss their coins into their treasure container that they have before them. Hey, let's watch and see who can get the most coins in their container. Okay, this is our next activity. This is called treasure collection. These are the gold coins that they have collected in the treasure hunt. When it's their turn, they will try to toss the coins into their treasure box. Before we get started, girls, can you tell me what our big idea is for today? We can trust God with our gift. Say it again. We can trust God with our gift. Okay, first, uh, Novia, if you can try to uh, toss your coins into your container down there in your treasure chest. Can you try? You can step up in front of the cone because you're, you're short. Okay, go ahead. No, you can't bend down and do it. You have to toss them. See, can you toss it in there? Uh-uh, you got to throw it. Step back a little bit. Okay, now try to see, can you get them in there? She her own. Yeah, come on. No, 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 no. Leave it down there. Leave it down there. Keep, keep throwing your coins in there and try to get them in there. Okay, keep going. Come on, keep going. You can do it. Take your time. Throw it on in there. Get those coins in there. Come on, get those coins in there. Is that all your coins? You got any more? You got any more? Come on and try. You got any more? Hurry up. Yay, come on. Okay, Elena, go ahead and start yours. You're trying to get yours in your treasure box. Come on, step up a little bit. Step up a little bit. There you go, try to get it in there. Good job. Come on, try. Come on, try. Come on. All right, okay. Okay, Zariah, your turn. Come on, try to get it in the, in the treasure thing. Stay where you at, you're taller. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. Come on now, come on, you can do it, you can do it. You can do it. All that gold coin, all those good treasures. Any more? Anybody else have any more coins? Okay, go ahead and try to get it in your thing. All right, so did anybody get any of the coins in there? You got one? Let's see. Oh, a 
Okay, so Novia has two. Oh, okay. Alia has one. Alina. Okay. All right. Great job. Y'all did so good. I'm sure they wanted to keep and hold on to those beautiful coins, which I totally get it. But they didn't get those coins on their own, nor did they earn them. I was sharing them with them to play the game. So the coins actually belongs to me. We would like to keep nice things for ourselves. But the Bible teaches us that there's a better idea that God had in mind. God wants us to show our good things and our nice things, including the gifts God gives us with others. Because all the gifts are from God. Now, let's have a reflection from our friend Jordan. In 2 Corinthians, who was Paul writing the letters to and why? He was writing the letters to his friends in Corinth and he wrote them to tell people that they need to have a good attitude when they are giving their gifts. Okay, so that answers number two. What kind of attitude should we have when giving? A positive, gracious, and a nice attitude. How did the little boy trust Jesus with his gifts? He trusted him by giving all that he had to share with 5,000 other people. And what happens when you give cheerfully and not just because you have to? You get more than what you gave. Okay. And what is our big ideal for this week? Trusting God with our gifts. Good job. Now, let's look at our set, second scripture, which is John chapter 6, verses 5 through 13. When Jesus looked up and saw a great crowd coming toward him, he said to Philip, Where shall we buy bread for these people to eat? He asked this only to test him, for he already knew what he had in mind he was going to do. Philip answered him, It would take more than a half a year's wages to buy enough bread for each one to have a bite. Another of his disciple, disciple, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. Here's a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish. How far will they go among so many? Jesus said, have the people to sit down. There was plenty of grass in that place and they sit down. About 5,000 men was there. Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed to those who were seated as much as they wanted. He did the same with the fish. When they had all they had, when they, when they had all had enough to eat, he said to his disciples, Gather the pieces that are left over. Let nothing be wasted. So they gathered them and filled twelve baskets with the pieces of the five barley loaves left over by those who had eaten. The little boy trusted God with what he had. Then God did something amazing with it. That's what it's like to trust God with our gifts. Next, we will have a song by our friend Jackie about this scripture. Our scripture is found in John the sixth chapter, the fifth through the 13th verse. And it's a parable about Jesus teaching us about two fish and five loaves of bread. And we're going to sing a song to it. And after I sing it, I know that you'll catch on and you'll sing it right along with me. All right. Two fish and five loaves of bread fed 5,000. Five thousand, five thousand, two fish, five loaves of bread, fit five thousand. So trust your trust in God. Two fish, five loaves of bread, fit five thousand, five thousand, five thousand, two fish, five loaves of bread, fit five thousand. So put your trust in God. Sing it with me. Two fish, five loaves of bread, fit five thousand. Five thousand, five thousand, two fish, five loaves of bread, for five thousand, 
So put your trust in God. Now for our last activity, this is called the alphabet gifts. A friend, this is again another game you can use and play at home. You can do this one by yourself, or you can also do this with your family and friends. Or if you don't have something like this, you can just write all the alphabets down on a piece of paper and see how many words you can come up with that God has done something good for you with it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to allow each one of my friends to get two letters and they're going to name something good that God has given them that starts with that letter. First, our friend, one of our puppet friends would do it. And then my friends, Novia, Elena, and Zarai would do the same. Let's watch. Hello, friends. Hey, Luke, Hi. would you help me with this activity? Yes, I'd love to. This is called Alphabet Gifts. And I want our friends to know how this game is played so I can play it with some of our other friends later. All right. This, I need you to choose two letters that you would like to say what God, something good that God has done for you with these two letters. What two letters would you like, Luke? The letter S and the letter F. S and F? Mm-hmm. Okay, Luke. Let me get those letters. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. S is ready. I have it right there. Can you tell me what S stands for? Something that has been really, God has done good for you? God has saved my soul. Great. That's why I wanted the letter S. Great. Now, what about the letter F? The letter F? I'm so thankful that God forgives me of my sins. Thank you so much, Lou. You're welcome, Miss Have Kay. a great week. All right. Bye-bye. Adios. First, we're going to start with Novia. Novia, what letters did you choose? Mm, this one. The H and the G. What does the H stand for, Novia? Mm, he's healthy. He has helped. He got you are healthy, okay? And the G, what has God done something good for the G? Mm -hmm. Being good. Being good, very good. Zariah, what letters did you choose? L and J. L and J, what's the L? Loving me. God loves you, okay? And the J? Gave me joy. Gave you joy, okay. Alina, you have the letter R and the letter C. What's the R for? Being respectful. Being respectful, very good. And what about the C? Cares for me. God cares for you, very good. Thank you, girls. They all came up with a lot of good things. But there is still a lot more good things God gives us that we haven't even thought of yet. So hopefully when you play the game, you can come up with a lot more and different uh, good things God has uh, blessed you with. These gifts show how much God loves us and cares for us. Imagine all the wonderful things God can do when we give our gift back to God. Now, let's do our final reflection from our friend, Olivia. What happens when you give cheerfully and not just because you have to? God loves a cheerful giver and he will bless you. Name some of your gifts that you can trust God with. My gifts are cooking and writing. Why do you think God wants us to share our gifts? So we can make others happy. What is one thing you think God can do with your gifts? Help make the world a better place. What is our big idea for this week? We can trust in God with our gifts. Thank you, Olivia, for doing such a great job. Now, friends, let's bow our head in prayer. Dear God, thank you for all the gifts you've given us. Please take our gifts and use them however you like. We can trust you, God, with our gifts. 
So please take them and do great things with them, like Jesus did with the little boy fish and bread. God, thank you for blessing and keeping us, and keep and especially keeping us safe. Amen. Thank you, friends. Bye-bye. See you next week. Be sure to join us each Sunday for an encouraging word where we're building faith and sharing love.